Are you getting what you want out of Snapchat? Is Instagram giving you what you thought it would? Is TikTok being kind to you? Now, if you're at all confused by any, any of those questions, your answer is probably no. But if you've never considered those questions before, I really want to ask you to really consider, are you getting what you want out of social media, out of Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, um, Snapchat? Do you want to feel more connected to people? Do you want to make sure that you stay up with the latest lingo? If a video goes viral, do you want to make sure that you aren't left behind when everyone else has already seen it? Let's just imagine something for a second, okay? Let's imagine that you spend four hours a day driving around in a car and just looking at stuff. What are, what are you looking for? What are you hoping to get out of this? Is this experience being kind to you? When you park your car after four hours, I, I, are you able to answer that question? Because if you don't want to appear like a crazy person and someone asks you why you're driving around for four hours, I would think you probably want to have an answer. Why, why four hours? <laughs> because according to techjury.net, the average adult, if you're under the age of 50, the average adult, this isn't just teenagers, the average adult spends at least four hours a day on social media, okay? So I want you to imagine just taking 25%, one hour in God's word. Now, maybe that's just reading through your Bible. Maybe that is listening to an audio recording of the Bible. Maybe that's going to a YouTube video that is a reenactment of a specific book of the Bible that is sticking strictly to the biblical text. When you get done with that one hour and you park your car, figuratively speaking, I am very confident that you are going to answer the question, what are you hoping to get out of this? I'm very confident you're going to have a positive answer, that you're going to have a clear answer. I want to bring up just one Bible passage. And this Bible passage is from Isaiah chapter 30. God says, in repentance, admitting the wrong things you've done, in repentance and rest is your salvation. In quietness and trust is your strength. Now imagine not just driving around for four hours and not being able to answer, what am I trying to get out of this? Imagine driving around for just one hour and hearing of the wrong things you have done, hearing of how your Savior has killed the wrong things you've done on the cross. Imagine the quietness, the strength, the trust, the rest that you would get out of this. And I know one hour is probably not realistic, right? I think five minutes is certainly realistic. 15 minutes, minutes would be better. And a half an hour, well, you might as well be at superstar status, okay? You probably don't know me, and, and I probably don't know you, but for what it's worth, I promise you, if you take time to speak to God in prayer, and if you take time for God to speak to you in his word, you are going to 100% definitely have an answer to anyone who might ask you, what are you hoping to get out of that? And I would love to hear what your answer is. Today's message was provided by Pastor Lloyd Harter, who serves two congregations in Euclid, Wisconsin. You can find a transcript of this devotion and all our other devotions at peacedevotions.com.